What's up, guys? It is Jack and Jeff from MachinimaHunter.com doing a This Is. Today we're doing This Is Syndicate. Really? Yeah. That game came out in 1993. You looked that we're up. Doing, on... We're doing SNES games? <laughs> you looked that up on Wikipedia, didn't you? Just so you had that one joke, didn't you? I have no idea what you're talking All about. All right. So Syndicate is a new first-person shooter coming out of EA, and... Uh, it's a very, very awesome visual game. So um, it the, looks a hell of a lot better than I remember it looking <laughs> yeah, on, the, on your SNES. Um, like the heads-up display in this game is really, really cool. It's got that. It's it's very reminiscent of like the Dead Space overlay. Sort of everything kind of floats, and there's like text that pops up, and it's kind of like hanging over, almost like um, uh, maybe like an, kind of like Assassin's Creed. But I mean, I, when I look at it, I think Dead Space. Like, I, okay, I would not be shocked if if they if Visceral gave some materials over to. Um, the company who created this game, which, uh, for the life of me, I can't remember right now. But anyway, um, basically... You're, do, you're doing a great job. Thank you, you thank you. The, so the not-too-distant future, um, you know, the world's gone to hell, of course. That's sort of the... the sort of Doesn't know, it always? Yeah, it always... And it never is a happy place. Never is a world like, hey, everything's happy and, you know... That's not true. Government's tied together. Harvest Moon. Oh, uh, okay. Well, there is that series. <laughs> <laughs> the first-person shooter, Harvest Moon. <laughs> um, and so, uh, basically, giant corporations have taken over. And so, instead of governments now, it's sort of like you have OCP. You know, it's sort of like RoboCop style. Where okay. You, uh, you know, these governments run different things. Are these 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 syndicates run different things? And so, you join a syndicate, and it's like you have a rival syndicate, and you have to get these chips that are in people's heads, and they give you power. And uh, you are essentially a super soldier with a, a dart system in you. Nice. And that's like your your it gives you special powers, and you can hack remote hack stuff and make people kill themselves. Can pretty you, cool. Can you go invisible and then like watch uh, like cheerleaders shower? <laughs> <laughs> like, like you said that's special where, powers. That's where you went to when it said special powers. That's I don't know. That's, that's, that's the first you. special power. Isn't it? <laughs> that's, that's like the, the first and best. Yeah, it's okay. number one. So uh, anyway, the game's a lot of fun. It's got some cool people. Uh, Rosario Dawson's in the game, and um, and Brian Cox is in the game. There's some other uh, some other big people too. So uh, and uh, Brian Cox's character looks very very similar to him. Brian Cox was uh, he was the villain in X Men Two, I think, right? Or, I I don't know who he is. Yeah. Anyway, you've you've seen Brian Cox. Okay. He's been in a bunch of stuff. All right. Sure. Fun. I know who Rosario Dawson is. Brian Cox was uh, uh, Rosario. If you're listening, by the way, please return my calls. Uh, how you doing, Rosario? Uh, Brian Cox was. Uh, wasn't he the uh, the the main guy from Super Troopers, like the older captain in Super Troopers? Oh, that guy. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. who that dude is. Yeah, yeah. I but mean, I don't know him. Know Den- him. Denim Dan. So um, anyway, all right, let's look over some of these achievements here. How about Cover Lover for ten gamer score? Make it past the conveyor belt without taking any damage from the turret. I thought you would like the name of that achievement. Jack. That sounds like a video, Mister Cover Lover. <laughs> it's an old song by what? Uh, who who's that? Who's singing former? Was that a... Uh, uh, snow? Snow. There you go. <laughs> All right. Highly adaptable for 10 gamer score. Kill four enemies in four different ways within one minute. We, we've been seeing a lot of achievements like that lately, where it's like murder people in different ways really quickly. That sounds like a video. There's, there's a whole bunch of different things you can do. Like, you can actually... There, there's some cool stuff you can hack into people's brains and make them kill themselves, or like you make guns backfire, and you, you, know, you can do some really, really neat stuff. So this game's a lot of fun. I, I, I enjoy it. All right. Gaggle of Guidance for five gamer score. Use the Swarm's multi-target lock-on firing mode to kill three UAV drones in one volume. That's another fun achievement name. I was probably going to do that anyway. Were you? Yeah. There, there's one point in the game where you absolutely should pick this up, and I'll probably end up cutting a video for it. So All right. I highly recommend that one. It's pretty easy. All right. And now there's uh, we have the collectibles, of course, and there's some big gamer score here. So deny everything for 30 gamer score, which is find all propaganda tags, and little black book for 30 gamer score, find all business cards. And these are scattered throughout the game. And uh, also, when you go back and you like replay a chapter, it'll show you how many in that level you have. So these are collectibles? These are collectibles. Are they in the same place? every time uh yes yes they will they will be so i think we're gonna be making guys for them that sounds awesome yeah and so uh the, the, it's pretty cool the um like the propaganda tags you turn on this this overlay mode this dart overlay uh-huh. and um like stuff will appear so like there'll be like a poster say like you know work together then you turn it on and be like the government's trying to kill you oh nice <laughs> so it's like so it's like they live yeah with, with, the, with the glasses <laughs> exactly all right, uh, make them watch for 30 gamer score. Kill Agent Crane before you kill his two sidekicks on normal or hard difficulty. That just seems mean. <laughs> I like that. I, the, the icon for it's pretty funny, too. But All right, uh, oh, oh, no, you don't for 10 gamer score. Complete 10 contracts against members of your syndicate. And so this is a multiplayer achievement. So there's, there's a bunch of multiplayer stuff. I haven't had a chance to play it, but the co-op multiplayer is supposed to be a lot of fun. It's got a whole co-op campaign for up to four players, and so we'll be checking that out pretty soon, I am sure. Uh, with friends like these, 15 gamer score, kill an enemy from the explosion of a reactive armor unit. That's that's the worst. When you're just, like standing around not paying attention, just firing at someone, all of a sudden your your buddy explodes. Yeah. And yeah. Like, manages to take you down in the process. That's uh not fun. 
All right, Business is War for 50 Gamer Score. Complete all chapters with track difficulty on hard difficulty. This is one of the uh, the three big achievements, so 50 Gamer Score for that one. Are there chapters that don't track difficulty? Um, Yeah, there, there's a couple of like, sort of um, plot chapters where it's sort oh, of like okay. walking through a building, talking to someone. That's gotcha. important to the game, but it's not, you know, doesn't need to be tracked. Yeah. And then uh, we have two, game, or two achievements here. Middle Management for 50 Gamer Score, which is 50% completion, and CEO for 100 Gamer Score, <laughs> 100% completion. That's level research and challenges. And there's a lot of stuff to do there so uh yeah that's that's a big that's a big 150 gamer score for that one right there we haven't we haven't seen a lot of 100 gamer score achievements lately Have no they've been that? they've been calming down yeah yeah so there you go that's a big tough one but anyway syndicate is going to uh it's going to be it's pretty awesome i i, I like it i've been playing it a lot and uh it's the first it's the first like shooter in a while that sort of has some new like new uh style to it new unique things properties and stuff so yeah i recommend it give it a shot and check it out and um yeah check it on the site for some guides and information and stuff like that all right. Jeff, okay. do you have anything to add? Yes. Uh, right. I thank you for this highly informative video. Uh, <laughs> it's been a pleasure to, to, to go down this road with you, to travel through this adventure together. Well, you're welcome.